Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marcela and today I want to share with you seven tips so you can take better care of your clothes to make it last longer. And my first tip is to wash less your clothes. What I normally do is that I try to get the most wear out of my clothes before I put it in the wash. Of course, there are some items where only a single use is available, like your underwear and some t-shirts, but in general, you don't need to wash like your jeans every time after you wear them. Uh, most of those items can have a few wears before you put them in the washer. If you are going to avoid washing clothing, then you can do a few things to make it last longer in between washes. Like for example, if you wear something, do not fold it and put it back right away in the drawers. When you take it off, you can put it in a hanger and leave it in the bathroom, for example. So it can air a little bit before you put it back in the closet. What I do wash after every single uh, wear is t-shirts, underwear as I said before, uh, shirts like this, but in general like jeans, sweaters and that kind of stuff, I don't wash them after one single use. My second tip is to get to know your appliances. And this may sound so simple and so basic, but many times we don't pay attention to it. We don't know what features they have. And sometimes they may have like super nice features that can help us to make our life so much easier. See if your uh, washer maybe has a hand washing machine. So you don't have to do the hand washing yourself, but only by setting the appliance. Same with your dryer. Take a look at your dryer and see if they have special features like, does it have a timer? Can you put a lower temperature to dry your clothes, etc. Some dryers also have a feature where they will sensor how dry or how wet the clothes are. So it will stop automatically if the machine thinks it's already dry. So you have to be very careful of what kind of features your machine, both washer and dryer has, so you can take the better use out of it. Another thing very important is to clean the filter of your dryer every time you use it. So make sure you do that because the more um, clogged the filter is or the dirtier the filter is, the slower the dryer will be. It will take longer to get your clothes dry. It will take uh, more electricity. It'll be worse for your clothes. So it's better to be on point on that. Now, when it comes to washing, there are a few steps that we need to take in order to make sure that we're not damaging our clothing ourselves. One thing that seems very, very basic is to read the labels. Most of the times we don't read the labels and we just assume that the garment is made out of some material and it may have other components that need special care. So it is very important that you read the label and see if it has to be washed under certain temperature or if it should be hang dry. What I do is to wash my clothes in cold water. I never put hot water to wash anything. If I need to put a little warm water, I will do on towels or sheets maybe, but in general clothing, I will put it always in cold water. I know that because of what everything is happening right now, the recommendation is that we use a little bit warm water or the warmest water um, recommended for you know, one specific item or garment. But in general, I would just use cold water all the time. Another thing that I do is to use eco-friendly detergent or plant-based detergent. Not only they're eco-friendly, 
and therefore more gentle on your clothes, but they will also be more gentle on your skin because they don't make your clothes harsh or anything like that that may you have reaction on your skin. Also, when you choose your detergent, make sure that the detergent is high efficiency. It will have those little letters at the corner, H-E, and that is because it's a special design for high efficiency machines. When you don't use a high efficiency detergent, it will make more foam and that might damage the actual system of the machine, of the washing machine. Another thing that I do is to reshape my clothes before I put it in the washer. Pants, jeans, sweatshirts that have zipper, I will zipper all the way up and also cardigans, I will button them as well because otherwise when you put it in the washer, they move in certain way that it's going to lose their actual form and shape. So that's why I like to reshape it, put um, the zipper up, button every item and then put it in the washer. I also put all my darks inside out, especially jeans. It is so important that we do this because clothing tends to rub inside one against the other one. So uh, they may color transfer. So that's why I usually tend to do it inside out. Now, when it comes to white, t-shirts, especially white t-shirts, you might have noticed that they have yellow stains, especially on the armpits. And this is caused by the mix of your sweat with the aluminum in your deodorant. Of course, there's no way that we cannot wear deodorant, but maybe we can try to use a deodorant that is aluminum free to help lower the chances of getting yellow stains. But another thing that you could do is pre-treat those stains before you put it in the washer. You can add some stain remover in the armpits of your white t-shirts, white shirts, and that can avoid the yellow stain or at least make it last longer so you don't get the yellow stains on your first wear. And not only those yellow stains, every single stain should be treated before you put it in the washer. Make sure you have something that you can um, pre-treat your clothes with. I personally like to use the regular dish soap. I have tried many, many stain removers and I find that dish soap is the best thing for that. It will remove grease, it will remove coffee stains, it will remove pretty much everything that I, that I treat before washing. The only thing is that you have to be super careful to rinse it very well because dish soap it's very sunny and foamy and you're not supposed to put any kind of like um, super foamy detergent into washing machines. Something else to consider is to separate your clothes by color. Most of the time we separate our clothes by color, darks with darks, lights and whites. But also make sure that you separate your clothes by fabric. You don't want to wash in the same cycle your jeans with a very delicate lace um, panties, for example, even when both of them are darks. Same thing with towels. You don't want to wash a white towel with a super nice fancy lace bra because the thicker fabric will rub the, the delicate fabrics and that will damage them. So it's always a good idea to separate your clothes not only by colors but also by the fabric or the thickness of the fabric. When you wash delicate items, make sure that you not only put the setting on delicates or hand washing, but also you can put your delicate items in mesh bags. Those laundry mesh bags are special designed for delicate items, so they don't have the rubbing from other fabrics and they will last longer. And lastly, what I do, every time that I wash, I would put half a cup or a cup of white distilled vinegar to remove odor and also the vinegar will work as a softener, a natural softener. I never use softener in my wash cycle ever. I only put either half a cup or a cup of white distilled vinegar. I started doing this with sheets and towels, then I added to my sport clothes and then little by little I ended up doing with every single cycle that I, I do.
The reason that I try to avoid dry clean only is because there are highly chemical process. So it is super strong and harsh chemicals that are put on your garment. They are not the best for the fabric and therefore they're not the best for your skin and not to mention they are not environmentally friendly. So when dry clean only is the only option, for example, if you have a wool thick coat that you cannot put in the washer and you have to take it to the dry cleaning, make sure you choose a dry cleaning that is environmentally friendly and it's not using harsh chemicals. Now, when it comes to drying your clothes, there are a few things that you can do. As I said before, when you know your machine, when you know the setting of your appliances, you can choose the setting, choose the um, temperature, the time that you're going to put something in the, in the dryer. When you dry your clothes, first try to see if there are some clothes that you want to um, hang dry instead of put it uh, in the dryer. Like for example, I never ever put my bras in the dryer or my jeans because they normally shrink because of the heat. So I don't put it in the dryer. But when I have to put something in the dryer, like my sheets, towels, some kind of underwear, socks, etc., and most of the clothes, um, I try to put it in a lower temperature. I never ever put it in high cycle or high temperature cycle. And I also try to put a timer. Sometimes the machine comes with a timer already so you can set it and if you wanna uh, dry it for 10, 15 minutes, you can do that. Some don't have that feature, but you can use your phone if you wanna time how long you wanna put your clothes in the dryer. Now, when you actually put something in the dryer, my top tip recommendation is to use drying balls. I got these beautiful drying balls. They sent it to me. They are from Wooly Heroes and they have the most beautiful shape, the most beautiful design. They are animals, all of them. They are so, so pretty. I have to say this is not a sponsored video. They just sent it to me and I'm so glad that I got them because I had ones that they were not like the best quality. So I'm super happy with this. I love them. I use them every single time that I put my clothes in the dryer because there's so many benefits with drying balls. These are eco-friendly, they're sustainable, and they will speed up the process of drying. When you put something in the dryer, they tend to get together, especially sheets and towels, they kind of like twist inside. So when you put drying balls, they separate the clothes, making the process much faster. So you can save around 20 to 40% time when drying with uh, these drying balls versus drying without anything. Something else that I like about these balls is that they are chemical free. You don't have to use those uh, dryer sheets because there are most of the time they are not very environmentally friendly. They're also fragrance free. Now, if you do like some scent, what you can do is put some essential oils on these um, balls and when you're drying, your clothes is gonna get all that nice smell from the essential oils, not from chemicals. So these are absolutely great. I love them and I'm so thankful that they send me these. I will leave the link down below so you can get it on Amazon. They are amazing. My tip number six, to make your clothes last longer is to repair when it's damaged. It is so simple. If they have like a little tiny hole, repair it right away before it gets into a big hole and then you have to toss the item. I also use a deep peeling machine. It looks like an electric razor, but it's actually especially designed for your clothes. Sometimes they get like bubbles around, especially wool sweaters. It is very easy to do it right after your clothes is dry, before you put it away, so you are out of it, and then you have your uh, garment ready for you to wear next time. Something else that you can do is to bring your clothes to the tailor when something needs to get professionally fixed. 
For example, if you have some pants that are super long and you're not wearing them, instead of having it in the closet, why not bring it to the tailor so they can just fix it for you and then you have a new pair of pants without buying anything new. And my last tip, my tip number seven, is to store your clothes in a proper way. First, keep your closet clean. Every once in a while, make sure that you wipe down the shelves, you vacuum on the closet floors. Many, many times, dust bunnies go all the way there and they start like um, getting stick to your clothes. Also, make sure that you hang what you need to hang and fold what you need to fold. Like for example, I will hang a blouse like this, but I will never hang a sweater because again, the hangers are going to stick on the sweater and it's gonna lose their shape. When you put your clothes in the closet, do not overload your closet. Do not put everything so tight that the clothes cannot breathe. And that's it. These are the tips that I have for you to Take care of your clothes and make it last longer. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a like. Don't forget to subscribe and share it with all your friends. And I will see you very soon with another video. Take care. Bye-bye.